Ah, it's you, Juliana. Yep, that's me, uh, Clive, the normal academy student. Anyway, Juliana, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve this situation with Team Star and what's causing its members' odd behavior? Team Star is the subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling about the Academy, you know. Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they're holed up in their bases plotting to cause trouble for the Academy. But these are rumors. The matter I am directly confronted with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent truancy. They've all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as set foot inside a classroom for over a year, and it seems the team's rank and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. I informed them that should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with their team. But I'm afraid there's been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between disillusion or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone to Cassiopeia, it couldn't have come at a more crucial time. It's Cassiopeia. Can you hear me? Ugh. Another time, then. Be careful. I see you're coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? Well, be warned that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. This base won't go down as easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? Oh, I want to see the boss of the Navi Squad. Take me to Don Atticus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass to these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving till you let me talk to Don Atticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. Oh, great, here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star newbies would be this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt. I think this girl might be Juliana. Wait, Juliana? That kid who picked a fight with Team Star? I knew it! Oh boy, this ain't good. Everyone else in the base is still asleep since we were up all last night playing video games. Leave her to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. Yeah? What's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. He's my dear compadre. And when crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally to those dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but thanks for the big assist. All right, you villain. If you're after Don Atticus, be prepared to face my wrath. Yeah!
I talk big, but I'm no warrior. Don Atticus, I'm sorry I failed you. Juliana, are you all right? I was standing watch when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Ugh, no fair! We had backup this whole time! Is this boy one of the Academy students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right. I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. Juliana, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat, my, uh, uh, my man? Don't worry, I won't bite. Nice work dealing with the guard. Within that base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Navi Squad. Their boss, Atticus, designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. The guy is also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So, since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokémon as you can until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Navi squad off the map. Pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel Juliana, I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. A plunge into grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. On guard! Not but punishment awaits thee, wretch! A plague on your house! Certain moves can poison with the mere graze. Tremble, scoundrel, for thy Pokémon's sake! Thank you. 
You think to give me a taste of mine own poison? Fie! I'll fight on to the bitter end! Forgive me, my friends. Forgive me. It took a goodly time to procure the required materials. Oh, sick. These boots are insane. Ah, yes. The move Flame Charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be! Thank you so much! I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great Infernal Airy. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Ooh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. All right, gang, let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into our battle training so we're all prepared for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself heart and soul to honing my battle skills. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so, this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Take this contraption too. It contains a technique that allows one to cover their foes in gunk. Juliana is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Don Atticus! M my compadre? Seems this little fella has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please, hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? <sighs> when the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay. We've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and barrier student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We've no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. By their own word, they are a recluse. As with the rest of us, twould seem bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases, awaiting the day of their return. So that's 
why you don't go to school. But, but still, don't ever think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. You've got a lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it. My compadre. I owe you a great debt. It seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the Academy. But more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. <laughs> I believed Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I may have been mistaken. Juliana, it's me. I take it that Atticus's star badge is now in your possession? I see. Now that his boss has been taken down, the Navi Squad's days are numbered. Atticus. Uh, sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Use those new TMs to strengthen your Pokémon even further. I'll have my supply unit rep meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials, too. H hello It's me again, from the supply unit? Pokemon anyway. Er, I guess that's one word for it. Wait, is it really that special? Uh, um, but before I forget, here's your reward. Um, your name's Juliana, right? Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then, these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But, uh, that's just info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses. Someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. Hmm, I don't normally talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. So, um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. Come to the end.